Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh, and sizzling news all day long. If this is your first time here or you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do all subscribe, like this video, and also leave your opinions in the comment section below. I remember when I was in this house, a colleague of mine stood up and told Obasanjo he was lying, Senator Undume. Chief Whip of the Senate, Senator Ondume, while defending the rendition of President Bola Ahmed Tinobu's campaign tune in Senate, has narrated how one of his colleagues stood up against Chief Matthew Olusegun Obasanjo while the letter was the president. Let me rem let me remind you that you know when Tinobu went to the house to present the 2024 budget instead of reciting the national anthem, went ahead to start you know reciting party slogan instead. This 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 of course did not sit well with a lot of Nigerians and you know people did not hide their feelings. People were expressing their feelings online about how that wasn't patriotic and you know in a formal gathering you don't go there to start you know talking about party reciting party slogan instead of you know just reciting the national anthem while he was talking on channels televisions politics today senator ali Ndume says that there is nothing wrong with the rendition of tinobu's campaign anthem in the senate and that it was like that during the administration of Obasanjo and Muhammad Buhari. He said, and I quote, I remember when I was in the house, a colleague of mine stood up and told Obasanjo he was lying. We were in the opposition then. There is one of our colleagues, we call him Pai Pai. And when the president came and started making a long presentation, Obasanjo was the president then. He stood up and he said the president was lying in Aousan. Further speaking, he said, and the president was shocked. Obasanjo then he sat down. Then he sat down and then the president continued and said it's normal. When Buhari was there, the same thing was done. Say Buhari, say Buhari. Why should Tinobu's case be a big deal? So according to Dumbi, it does not seem anything, you know, unusual about what Tinobu did. But a lot of Nigerians has a lot of Nigerians have contrary opinion on this. Before we proceed, let me remind you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done that or if this is your first time here. Welcome. Please subscribe, like this video, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Let's discuss and share opinions over there. I respond to all of my comments as well. Ifai Obiesi says, Almost 90% of them are lousy and without conscience. Insisong Otsu says, It is unfortunate that leadership in Nigeria has been thrown to the dogs. And the worst thing is that the followership do not really know what they want. These vagabonds in power has been sending the messages of disregard to the integrity of the masses and the masses has not been responding to it in any way and now they are displaying all forms of absurdities as a government policy. It is time the masses should show disdain in, in, to these vagabonds in power. I come in peace. Hmm. Fedi, Fedilia Yaji says, With this bunch of wicked people, you are saying Nigeria will change? No way. Praise singers so that they will continue feeding fat at the detriment of uh, dying masses. But be assured, one day, all the money will never be helpful. One good example, Nara redesigned billions. We are useless, but God, God own 
they will shake them up from the roads. Ade Jugbe Olayemi, always the same set of people contradicting with serious bitterness. Why can't we see something good or positive in another person when it's not in our personal favor? We blindly reject, forgetting that there is good in some bad situations. The talking drum has two faces. Wow. In Kong John, talking rubbish. A whole country will abandon our own national anthem for campaign slang of president and you are saying it's justifiable. You know, I believe that, you know, most times when you are at the top or when you are a leader, most of the people following you, they will never tell you the truth. You know, they will always be singing your praises in order to get favor from you. And I feel that this is one of those situations none of them wants to tell him the truth that no a you should have you shouldn't have done that you should have sang the national anthem that is why Ndume is telling us that it's no big deal obasanjo did it uh, buhari as well did it it's no big deal for him to come to the house to start singing a party slogan instead of the national anthem ago patrick says Rendition of Tinobu's campaign tune are usually done by the praise singers who seek favor, and that's why Nigeria is not working. Sell interest, some sing and dance, making democracy funny. Owali says, as one of the landlords of Senate House, what positive change have you and your co-looters brought to Nigerians? I beg Park well talking to Ndumi. Ayo Manion says, So you have been there since the time of Obasanjo. Does that mean you are the only one in your senatorial district? Bro, you have outlived your usefulness. Sig- Sigdo Joe Sigdo Joe says, Only God will liberate us from these politicians. Just like on Dume's propag- propagation, everything wrong is the norm for our politicians. There is no deliberate attempt by our politicians to serve. Squandermanian is the norm. Look at the appointments. More than 40 ministers, large numbers of special advisors, bogus and padded budgets, no financial discipline. Yet they keep on promising us El Dorado. You all, what do you think about all of this? Subscribe to this channel, guys, if you haven't already done that. I will see you all in my next video. Bye for now.